Welcome back to the Kubota Commander. Now we're gonna start phase two. Phase two is adding 12 more panels to the container, 12 Mission 345s, which I already have. And so rails, uh, splices, so extend the rails out, set another post, three posts, and a rail on top to catch the solar rails. Similar to how the container is holding the panels currently. Uh, that rail, or the pipe, I should say. So I will set three posts, set the horizontal pipe on top, attach the rails, attach the panels. This is the Iron Ridge ULA system. So there's the post. There's holes here in the ground that, well, they haven't been made yet, but everywhere you look, there's a hole potentially. So you just have to make it happen. All right, that's the next step is to mark out where the holes go, dig the holes with the electric jackhammer. Stand by. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I don't know if I like that guy. But anyway, here we are. The Kubota, most excellent servant on the property, has four of the six bags ready. And then the welder is ready, a little tiny welder and then a little tiny generator. I'm gonna little tiny weld some bolts on the post. So when I put it in this little tiny hole that I dug with the jackhammer and this hole and this hole, we'll have our fenced post installed to hold up our top rail of two inch pipe to hold up our solar panels. Yeah. So. Next step is to put these posts in. I've got my string ready. That's the string I use to make my paint mark so I know where to dig, dig the holes. Then I'll set these end posts and then I'll use the string to set the middle post to make sure it's lined up straight by hand, by hand. All right, it's starting to come together. Uh, remind me to clean that wheelbarrow before I forget. That's yesterday's post. And then I got these two posts in. And this is kind of a trick. I don't know. It's a ladder holding up the post. And then the uh, level, post level, post level, ditto. That's a taller ladder, another post level. Uh, and concrete it in. Then once this concrete hardens, I will take this black dirt, whatever that is, rocks and stuff, not the big rocks, but anyway, the small stuff and put on top here to smooth it out and make it on the grade. And then I'll take the rest of the items, rocks and whatnot away. Uh, so it's nice. Okay, so let's let the concrete harden. I'm gonna prime and paint um, the post. This one's already primed and just pre paint them gray, similar to the container, etc. And then uh, the next step will be soon, stand by. Oh, that day went fast. Oh, and now the wind's blowing. Here's an update. Now you can see how it's gonna go together. There's the horizontal pipe that I'm painting before I install it. Sometimes I have not done that at my own regret. However, here we are, painted. I've got some plastic caps I can pound in there. This is what it looks like on the top when it's that far along. This pipe is cut to length in this little saddle. It just sits there and the set screws get set and then this horizontal pipe will lay there with U-bolts holding it. Then I will cut this one to its height, indicated by my slightly sawing on it, but not too much to disturb its unset concrete. Ditto. There's that mark. Oh, there it is. Yep. So I'll cut those off um, at the last minute when the concrete has set for eight, uh, six or eight hours. I'll be real careful. Then that rail and then the aluminum rails and then the solar panels, blah, blah, blah. Okay, wait for the magic to happen. Wait, the magic's been happening. I think I might have magic for the day though. All right, enough blah, blah, blah. This is what it looks like so far. Imagine 12 more panels. I'm the Kubota Commander. Yeah, stand by.
Okay, so now you can see where we are. One rail up, the pipes are in the ground, everything's painted. Have the horizontal rail up. I've got one rail up. There'll be eight rails all together to mount 12 additional panels. So this is the plan. The uh, keep constructing Milwaukee. So yeah, bolt it all together. There's a splice that goes at the end of the rail up there. It allows me to put another rail here. So I will keep adding panels, rails and panels until we have 12 more panels. All right. I think that's all I'm doing for today. See y'all tomorrow. Barn Commander update number 107. <laughs> How many? I don't know. Reclaimed our panel from a different roof from a different feller, yeah. Made into a wall on this side of the solar array. This is how it works. <clears throat> of course, I set some two inch pipe in the ground. I put the Iron Ridge saddle two inch pipe down the run. Then, let's go all the way down here. What a mess. Some of this stuff needs to get out of here. That's why we're building a building. Simpson, 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 Simpson tie, uh, strung tie bracket. It's for a two inch pipe onto a two by or whatever you put there. Inch and a half long screws into the wood. Comes with this bolt. You, it grabs the pipe when you tighten this bolt. Nice. Then you put pressure treated pine two by or Two, in this case, two by four, you can do two by six. I did four, two by fours. That's a nearly 10 foot span. It's nine foot, I think, <clears throat> which is fine. Then I installed this reclaimed R panel, which I cut, oh, let's jump over this stuff. I cut to 64 inches long because I wanted to. I mean, that's a random number. That 64 inches comes from the fact that on the shallow end, it's 64 inches. I had a leftover deck board that was curled on one end and I used that as my face board. Looks nice. And then our panel screwed to the two bys. Yes, I think I need to get the power. Well, I will, I'll get the power washer, clean this old roof up. For the roof panels where the water goes, I will put a little screw there on a side panel like this. I may or may not put a screw to fill that hole. Probably not gonna matter. Then, now I'm down here at the end. I've measured from this location here of the R panel. And then I'm going to see if I have the scrap that's about 24 inches, which is what I measured. It's 24 to here somewhere. Then I'll cut this two by off, put the rest of that board that I had cut if it fits that board there there may not fit but who knows then then i'll have a i guess it's a windbreak it's a wall it's a part of the barn where you have like this spot to put something in that's the old polaris she barely runs she needs a new carburetor it's a project i'll get on that eventually believe me i do like that old thing uh, we, as a side note, we have an electric golf cart now, so I just put a lithium battery in that thing. Here we are. Here we are. So, all right, stand by for further updates as this comes together. Um, well, as you can see, I'm going to hang shovels here and, you know, other things that are tall. That'll go there. It'd be a nice little farm wall. How about that? homestead storage of items. Alrighty, stand by. Here's where a lot of solar happens. As you can see, little ground array, little ground array, larger ground array, mm, container array. I need to update the video for this container, the barn as I call it. 
Then, inside of this container, there's a Legacy Systems, Ultra Legacy, mostly Legacy, Super Legacy. That one's probably 15 or 20 years old, seven years old, 12 or 13 years old. And then of course the remotes and the, all that stuff. This is my daily driver and it's connected to four E-Flexes. I need to move the other four here. I just hadn't had time. Four E-Flexes and legit parallel with eight pites. They're all lithium iron phosphate 16S. So it's legit to do that. It might be a little DIY for some people, but legit. And then four charge controllers. And of course, this is a highly complicated set of material here uh, that probably can be reduced to like an inverter and some batteries, an all-in-one and some batteries. So, and then, you know. All right, little cleanup, got the grass mowed. It's growing really great this year. Uh, tiny, uh, little array, tiny array, 24 mission panels. That's a nice wall. Keep some of the wind and rain out. Well, don't laugh at me. A lot of rain comes between those panels, but most of the items stored in the barn are able to take the moisture. I did hack a hole in the container for a window unit until something better than a mini split can be had because those things break after three or four years. They just break. So remember that meme of a parrot? It's not a parrot. Something living in your window unit, even though it still works and it's 50 years old. I'll put that up here. It's real funny. It's ironic, but funny nonetheless. So I do like the way this flying roof goes, the solar array and then the extension for the tractor. Yeah, this makes for a nice little shop, one, one container shop, and uh, very similar to other shops I have built, and I call it the barn. It's my favorite tractor storage barn solar power system. Uh, you've seen inside already, Outback Inverter, Schneider Inverter, and soon to be another Fortress NV12K on the property, and that's where it's going. Stand by for that video. Appreciate you watching.